We have an overall bikini champion. to you how difficult it was this morning to get up and go do morning cardio feeling as depleted as I feel like holy crap so proud of myself because I got through it here we are we're ready to start high carb day I already have it all planned out on my phone and it's going to be incredible basically all I do is I take most of the exact same meals with all of these same veggie portions I will lower a few of them and then I just add carbs to every single meal so as you saw in that last clip it's basically the exact same thing that I have every morning but I add in like a basic oatmeal which I chose it was apple raisin and like walnut or some sort of nut and cinnamon and it's so good because it has those little like dried pieces of like apple in it and it has raisins in it and it just has a really good flavor and it just adds like 30 carbs um, but it makes this bowl of oatmeal like look at that bad boy oh my god it's so big <sighs> and it's so good and I have just been recently turned on to extracts I don't know why I never thought of it but it's brilliant 
So to my oatmeals, I've been adding extracts. So I added, you saw like two drops of just like an almond extract and it just gives it a really good like almondy flavor. You don't need much at all, uh, but yeah. So we're adding that. And then I have a giant cup of coffee today. Like I filled this up with two K cups because you know, it's one of those days. Oh my God. And high carb day is great at the middle of it. But like starting high carb day is so rough because you are on a few days of depletion. So like that last morning before you get the carbs is the roughest because you are massively depleted ready for that refeed and you still have to get through like morning cardio doing your hair and makeup getting dressed functioning until you actually make it to the first meal but we did it we made it you guys holy crap i'm just i'm just so excited i'm just beside myself i cannot even believe it uh but i feel great this morning like besides the fact that my body is just exhausted and depleted and we're six weeks out and now we're like five and a half but beside that i feel so good like i feel mentally so good and motivated and like almost like a fire was relit i don't know what happened but it just feels great um a lot of it has to do with the fact that i am reading the book relentless by tim grover i purchased it like three months ago and I've heard great things about it. Just that it's amazing, it's motivating, it's wonderful. People read it at specific parts of their lives and it just like changed them. Like, So I heard all these great things, but I didn't really wanna start it at the beginning of my prep because I knew my prep was gonna be like 20 to 24 weeks. So I was like, I don't wanna read it at the beginning. So I've been, I think I read like three or four books before that because I knew I've been cranking through books. So I've been saving it up on my shelf of books until this moment until this moment i was like i'm gonna save it until prep gets hard when i know i need it and i could not have timed it more perfectly because like a few days ago going through the injuries of all the shit i had to go through last week like i was so down on myself and demotivated and just like just wanted this prep to be over and i was just struggling and it was hard and i have started reading this book this week and oh my god you guys like it is perfect it's perfect i couldn't like i said i could not have timed it any better it's just motivating and inspiring and it kicks you in the ass and like oh my gosh i'm just it's perfect so starting my morning off that way is literally the best so i just feel great like my spirit my energy my motivation are ready to go my body just kind of has to follow suit so refeeding today will definitely do that. So first meal is one packet of better oats, one packet of that other oatmeal, 75 grams of egg whites, and then I did cinnamon and stevia still, and then I did two drops of almond extract, and then I have two K cups of coffee, and I have my Patriot Pop Pup Aminos, and that's gonna be meal one. I'm gonna take you guys throughout my whole day of high carb day. I haven't done a high carb day full of day of eating in a while. It's always my low carb days. So I'm gonna show you what I eat on my high carb days. Lots of carbs. Totally just remembered I forgot to make rice. Damn it. Um, that's okay, it only takes like five minutes to, to make rice. So we'll just do that while we make our next meal. Uh, or in a few minutes. I may just go start it and leave it. Okay, but welcome to the video full day of eating coming at you on my high carb day and i will see you guys at meal two what's up you guys all right here we are at meal two. Oh, i'm so hungry so the crazy thing about high carb day is once you start eating the carbs your body is so depleted and wants them that like it just starts burning so i am usually like starving on high carb day so i've been ready to eat this meal pretty much since the last bite of my oatmeal so here we are we have the basic omelet that we usually have adding 75 grams of white rice and then like I said yesterday I am combining meal two and three so I made my protein ice cream already 
put it in the freezer and then I will add three rice cakes on top instead of two and I will eat that as dessert but I'm just letting it freeze up a little bit while I eat this because if I waited and brought it up with me it would just melt so I'm gonna eat this I'm so hungry I have another cup of coffee and then I'm going to drink some more water and I'll see you guys at dessert hey guys I like floated downstairs to go get my dessert. I was walking down the stairs and I'm just like <laughs> carbs, carbs, carbs. It's probably mental. I mean, it's physical, but oh. all right, dessert time. So we have our protein ice cream, which today I am using my Evagen Stroop waffle. And I did one cup of ice a half cup of almond milk and 25 grams of Stroop waffle protein powder and the trick is to put it on a super super low speed until all the ice gets blended and then kind of like slowly increase the speed until it like froths into ice cream um, it takes a few minutes like you need to be patient but it finally will like turn into ice cream but the trick is just to start really 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 slow and then kind of gradually increase the speed in your blender. I have one normal lightly salted rice cake and then I have two caramel rice cakes. Yum! I'm so excited. And I just ate that rice and egg white omelet. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I just feel good. I just feel good. But I need to get this in because I need to run on lunch. So I will see you guys at my pre-workout meal. What's up you guys? All right, I am here with my pre-workout meal. I went on a nice walk for my lunch cardio. I didn't do any running, I literally just set my timer and walked for 30 minutes. My legs are feeling still so fatigued. They feel better, but I'm just at that point where I am like, if you've dieted for a show, you understand. I'm just at that point where like, it just hurts. It just hurts. So we're pushing. Mentally, I'm staying strong, but I am so stoked. Oh, there's a piece of rice. Yeah, I'm gonna eat that. Um, carbs. I get carbs. More carbs. Okay, here we have it. Look at that beautiful gloriousness. So I have two servings of my cauliflower rice, so 170 grams, and then I have 100 grams of rice. And then I have three ounces of chicken. I have garlic parmesan and white cheddar kernel seasonings. And then I have 20 grams of mustard. <sighs> smells like heaven. And diet root beer because sweet. And I'm gonna chow down on this, you guys. I'm so excited. And then I have more rice after dinner and oats. I wish I could do this day like five times in a row. <laughs> so bad, but I will see you guys probably either on the way to the gym or at the gym.